Hello everybody, it's good to be back. Um, I thought we'd just do an impromptu lesson in open C. I was having a little bit of a mess around, just sort of playing a few riffs. You know, just, you know how it is, baby, rock and rolling and uh, whatnot. But, I recognised this particular sort of... I thought, what's that from? You know, that's from something that I've heard before. Anyway, it turns out it's one of the riffs, um, one of the two sort of main sections of a song called Whippoorwill by Chance McCoy, and that's from the Peanut Butter Falcon soundtrack. So um, I thought, right, we'll try and learn the rest of the song. Anyway, I haven't quite got it down all that well yet, but um, we'll learn it together, I suppose. I'm just going to try and do this all in one take, just... Uh, so if I f fuck up, just, you know, just bear with. So, <clears throat> first we need to get our guitar into open C tuning. So we start with a low C. It's quite cool, the camera is actually, you know, is it the frame rate, the shutter rate or something? Well, it doesn't have a shutter, does it? Um, it's picking up some good string wobble there. Anyway, low C, sorry, easily distracted. Simple things amuse simple minds. C. Then tune our A, <clears throat> our A down to a G. And our D string needs to come up to an E. I think they might be slightly out, but I haven't really got a good enough ear. Um, then. Our G string just gets to stay where it is. Our B string comes up, yeah, comes up to a C. Um, and then our E string just stays where it is. You could technically, if you wanted to, like unison strings and wanted to have a slightly different sound, have that come up to a C, uh, no, down to a C like the top um, or bottom E string, um, like you would when you're playing Skinny Love by Bunny Bear, he has sort of two unison C strings at the top in open C tuning. But for all intents and purposes, we're just going to leave it as an E. So <clears throat> the first riff is... just just hammer-ons and pull-offs good bit of wobble and vibrato on the second fret of the C and the G strings also known as the E and the A strings might get a bit confusing I don't know if you can hear that dog barking um, but yes and the strumming pattern is sort of like a Practice that strumming pattern a bit. Um, and you can kind of be sloppy with it, you don't have to be very accurate with it. Because the song itself is quite sort of, you know, it's precise, it's sloppy in a precise way. It's kind of in the way that Wolf Pecker, you know, they're so tight but they're so loose, but they're so tight, like it's uh. It's a purposeful source of looseness to the sound. So. And then we get to this bit. So, because we have two unison G strings, all we need to do to get an octave is have our index finger on one, uh, the lower G, and then our ring finger there. So we start on this. 
uh, which starts on the ninth, the ninth. There we go. Nine, twelve, nine, seven, five, two. Nice and slowly. And you can pretty much um, strum as many strings as you like because it's all going to be somewhat in key. And like I say, it's that sort of, you know, it's supposed to be bright and a little bit rough around the edges. Um, yeah, it's, it's very purposefully um not messy probably not the right word but anyway i digress so we have that bit which is accompanied by a bit of humming um, in the song itself and then seven nine to fourteen Bit. So we've got Nope, like I say, bear with me. I've also just learnt it. slowly. Hopefully you can sort of see which frets my uh, fingers were on from that. So there you go, and those are pretty much the only two riffs you need for most of the song. I can't do a lot of the fiddling about that he does at the start because um, I'm not really adept at picking out notes in this open C tuning. Um, but you can pretty much get the whole song by that. And, you know, you'll be able to figure it out yourself. I mean, all I'm kind of doing here, that's not really... I realised that wasn't really a lesson as such. It's more sort of me giving you the building blocks that you need um, and then you kind of, you know, that was like jigsaw pieces and you've got the song itself, if you have listened to that, that would be like looking at the image on front of a jigsaw box and you kind of slot in the pieces, you know, I'm sure that most of you have a good enough ear to be able to recognize, you know. I certainly don't uh, have a good enough um, ear right there. But, yeah, to be able to slot the pieces in where they need to go. So there you go. There's a very rough lesson um, as my first lesson back in ages. I say lesson, you know what I mean. It's sort of a, a roundabout way of teaching a song. So, take care and bye for now.